righty righty matchup to get us started here on this Saturday. And McBride's first pitch to Moore is a single out to left field. And offense setting the tone to get this game started. Or his cutter. Two balls and two strikes. There's a swing and a miss, and it's the first strikeout of the game. Here in the SEC is the starting staff. There's Christian Moore taking off towards second. There's Ike Iris throwing him out. What a play from the Auburn catcher. How about that? Call third strike. Tears down looking. With one out, the base is empty. Fargo hits the first pitch the other way. That ball is carrying, and that ball exits the yard. Fifth home run of the season for Dalton Barco. Over the big green monster there in left field. And Tennessee's got a 1-0 lead here in the second inning. Talented sophomore transfer from Missouri. He's their DH last year as a freshman, came up there, was hunting first pitch, fastball, got it straight middle of the plate down. You can see the power that young man has. McBride's gotten a little bit loose with that front shoulder. He's pulled a couple fastballs way outside. There's ball four on the wall. The 2-2 pitch. Smokes to third past Derek Fabian, and this one's going to get all the way to the wall in left field. Maynard's a little trouble picking it up. It's a double for Curley in Tennessee now with two runners in scoring position. And there's a wall. Tennessee has loaded the bases. One ball, no strikes, two outs. And Moore drives one to right center field. That ball. His 39th career home run wearing a Tennessee jersey. And here in the second inning, Tennessee up five to zero. What a swing. It's the breaking ball up out of the zone. He stays inside of it. You can just see the pop that he has. A no doubter. I was watching Stanfield in center field, see if he was going to be able to track it and just down on strikes on three pitches. Good work from Beam. Change up <laughs> up in the zone is. How about Kate Ballou attacking the first pitch? This one's going to be off the wall. Looking for extra bases. A strong throw in, but it's a two out double for Kate Ballou. Sure. 2 2 to Javon Hernandez, who offered at it. And that's strike three. In the second, we saw Bauman come in. And we see Dryling hit one down the right field line. That ball is out of here. A laser from Dryling. Third home run of the day for Tennessee. 11th of the year for Dylan Dryling. And it's all Rocky Top here on the Plains today. This ball never got above 10 feet off the ground. I mean, this fastball down and in, always a no-go zone on power hitting lefties. Dreiling's got 11 home runs now, just drops ahead of the bat. This ball hit well to right field. Dalton Bargo homers for the second time today. Already the fourth home run of the game for Tennessee, and we're still in the third inning. All I can say is wow, JJ. I mean, as I've talked about, Bauman's nasty on lefties. This is a 2-2 breaking ball, inner half. Bargo last inning hit a fastball away over the green monster and left. This slider he takes into the bullpen. And then today come out and just unable to get anybody out. Third pitcher so far right now, Chase Alsup, another walk, hoping that he can buy a lot of innings and maybe give this offense a chance. 
Curley hits one to left field. Mason Maynard's able to body it up and keep it in front of him, but nonetheless, it's a single. 0-2 from Alsup, and he got Chapman swinging. Much needed first out of the inning. Able to turn it into a walk. And Cal Stark unloads on one. Deep to left center field. Stanfield, Auburn center fielder, runs over, loses the cap, but makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Two outs. He's already two for two today. It's this one right back to the mound. And also retires Tennessee. Called strike, baby and down looking. Got all the way over to third back in the first inning. Not able to come around and score. And Bean picks up another strikeout. Cooper Weiss on the ground to short. Curley's got it. Just like that, Auburn retired in order. Thompson's right here in this 3-1 count. Blurt blasts one to left center field. That ball is out of here. Blake Burke now stands alone. The all-time home run leader in Tennessee baseball history, Blake Burke, makes this a 9-0 baseball game. Well, before the coronation is over, Christian Moore is only a couple behind, and it's still <laughs> going, and these guys are just juniors. 3-1 fastball, I said it's time to dance. Fastball up and away. Drives it to the deepest part of Plainsman Park. Tennessee by nine. And a three-pitch strikeout there from also. Irish down on strikes. Great numbers. Drives this ball to center field. Inslee's got it and puts it away for the third and final out of the yeah. inning. And here's a base hit from Inslee. Lead off runner aboard for Tennessee. Four of the five innings so far. Steady between 95, 96, 97. Star hits this one well to center field. Stanfield takes a few more steps back than he might have thought initially and able to put it away. Hall, Ballou, Hernandez, the three do up the center for Auburn as we see Christian Hall down on strikes. Down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Beam. Hernandez hits one well to center field. But Inslee's right there and puts it away for the third out of the inning. Throw a split finger maybe down and away. Dylan Dryling deposits that baseball over the right field wall. There's the 10th run Tennessee was looking for. That is the sixth home run today for Tennessee. Dryling has hit two balls that have been absolutely lasers out over the wall and right. This one, I, I got tipped by cap because I was just saying what Alsop should do, which would be a cut fastball in. Here's a cut fastball in. Not bad location, actually really good location. Just Dryling just gets Holy the head cow. of the bat through there. Good thing they don't have seats up there. <laughs> Three balls and two strikes. And also lost him. What an A-B. Swing and a miss. Down on strikes for the third out of the inning. The ability to coach. Obviously, he coached up his son. There's a fastball in. Routine ground ball. About as quick as it gets right there. Tennessee having great success so far this season. As we see a leadoff single here from Hunter Inslee in the seventh inning. The success has been led by home runs today. Where do I throw it? Curly a rocket down the left field line into the corner. Extra bases on another double for Dean Curley. And now two runners in scoring position for Tennessee in the seventh. Call third strike. It's the second out of the inning here in the seventh. Anybody in the SEC? Moore sends this one into the left center field gap. Two runs coming in to score for Tennessee. 
on the RBI double from Christian Moore. I think I would hold the ball for 12 seconds. <laughs> As Burke sends this one deep to right, Baloo's underneath it and puts it away for the final out of the seventh, two games of the series so far. <laughs> Absolutely is. Ike Irish with the hard hit ball right back at Drew Beam. The throw over to first is still in time for the out. It's been, a, been Drew Beam up and in. Here's Cooper McMurray giving us a chance to talk about him. This one's into the corner. Looking for extra bases. McMurray with a one out double. It's going to go full out effort. That's a hard hit ball to short underneath the glove of Curley and out into left field. It'll put runners at the corners. No, Stanfield able to take second. Kind of a wild throw back in. Christian Hall in between a whole bunch of pitches. This ball gets past Cal Stark, the catcher. McMurray sliding into the plate safe. Auburn has scored. Auburn will not be shut out today, but Christian Hall is struck out for the third time. This one gets past the catcher and Stark, and Stanfield able to score. Blue pops one to left field. Dryling puts it away for the final out of the ball game. Tennessee picks up the win 12 to 2 over Auburn.